so just tracking how this trade works. I'm trying to see if I can catch along up from this daily fair value gap up here and into a five minute um, for, um, CV up top here. Don't know if it's actually going to work. I'm waiting on this five minute candle. We seem to just be doing that slow crawl up. Want to, this daily fair value gap here to turn into support and I'm just looking to grab that. Technically, I should be looking to grab like about 80 ticks, um, but we're just gonna see how this behaves. I had a, another trade, but I uh, moved my stop down here, but I moved my stop too soon. And that was not, not good. So there's like two minutes and change left in this. So if we're coming back up, we're digging into this um, uh, daily fair value gap, the new one. So I could be conservative and just look for the halfway point of that. So, okay. Approximately about there. I mean, the 116 is enough for me. I took a stupid short, which honestly, it's just bad news on my part. So I'll take that. Looks like we're going to get it. This was a little um, stressful. Okay. Ah, all right. Awesome. So quick scalp. Morning trades. This is the first one I took in long. Well, my stops are too soon. And then this one was a stupid short. I don't know what I was thinking. I just kind of fell into that one. I know I could get more out of this, at least the halfway point, but I'll take what I can get. Um, so I'm trying to work with a uh, 15K account, one contract, and just aim for TD arrays. Look at that beautiful push up. I could have got more, but I'm trying to be conservative and just get comfortable with taking something. I haven't been around for a bit. Um, let me get bigger here. Can I get it bigger? I haven't been around for a bit. I've been uh, <laughs> allergies. Oh, which reminds me, I need to go take my allergy medicine. But allergies have been kicking my butt and I've just been feeling really impulsive, like super, super impulsive. So I'm trying to keep this account open and not make any changes to it um so that's about it in terms of my loss the short um i had the long from here just looking for 80 takes move this move the stop too soon so basically took the long um here and then move my stop too soon got stopped out here and then i was thinking perhaps they're not if they don't take this tie out then uh, and they were using this as support maybe that would be a good place for a short so yeah as it stands gonna leave that as is i'm curious there's a down close candle no fair value gap on the 15 second there is one let me remove this actually this is another thing that i'm trying to work out right the desire to um to get right back into another trade so let me just stop myself right there i've already taken three one that should have been perfectly fine with a beautiful long then one that was just too quick after the fact and then um wanted to take a long once you broke that level on the one minute but um, it ran away so let's talk about the the one that worked so um so after a long drop, market hit a uh, one hour sell side liquidity. Sell side liquidity and um, then turned. Um, great um, long but moved stop too soon and then didn't wait for confirmation. Confirmation on the short. Then took a long at the daily FEG, can't spell y'all, FEG 
expecting it to continue continue up it almost stopped me out but did not then ran to my tp okay so let's drop that here so there's that short that you could potentially be looking for i'm going to just put something here just to specify the long that i had in mind it's only going to be about 80 ticks right but you know there's a new week opening gap here so why not right um and let's just grab a let's grab a screenshot <laughs> excuse me to put into my into my diary so i'll be yeah I, oh my god my allergies have been on another level this go round. like my brain just feels like it's constantly being um depressed and it's you know like oh my god sunday i was literally unable to think it was awful just plain unadulterated awful so i really been able to focus properly all right i got my i got my stuff let's clear this up now this return back down into this fair value gap i think would be a great long if it taps it again to maybe go up to the ce of this to take out these relatively juicy looking highs right here so i wouldn't i wouldn't be super surprised maybe even like the junction between um that fair value gap i mean that uh, new week opening gap the daily fair value gap and then but right now it's just tapping into this order block fair value gap and then maybe continue on but i am going to exercise some uh, restraint take that and uh you know look to see if there's something super obvious on in the afternoon otherwise i'm gonna mind my business and i had made a video for you guys so i thought i'd uh, do that one given that i didn't have a lot of um stuff going on at the same time but most of my most of my trading right now will be you know not so much back testing but more forward testing anyway be safe have a great day it's a little super unpredictable out here so shikiro out